Welcome to The Hood. I'm your host, Isabella Santos, and we're gonna find out what people know about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin conference. Let's go check it out. So what do you know about Bitcoin? Uh, that is a cryptocurrency. Mostly online somewhere. And I guess it's better than investing in stocks somehow. Can I cuss? Yeah, you can cuss. <laughs> okay, I know people talk a lot of shit about it because it's not environmentally friendly. Um, I thought that was the NFT, no? I think it's all of it. Because it's oh, like computer-based. So you like mine it on your computer. Right. When I was in college, all the, all the fucking bitches were out here mining that shit on the like, library computers. They got in trouble. No way! No, fully. Bitcoin. I know that it's like a thing where they scam you and I was scammed of all my money through this guy that I don't know if it was a guy or a girl but they stole $900 from me some guy named Christopher Benini and like I thought the precinct in Brooklyn New York would be able to find the scammer so I was like yeah yeah I'll upload the check and my bank put a negative $3,000 like balance that I supposedly have to pay off. And I was like, no, close out my bank account. That's, they stole my money. And they were like, okay, go to a Bitcoin machine. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm in front of a Bitcoin machine, you know, thinking detectives could find these people. And they totally can't. They don't even have a phone tracer at that precinct. What's your thoughts on the Russia invasion in Ukraine? The what? The Russia invasion in Ukraine. The Russian invasion in Ukraine. I don't know. I know Ukraine I invaded know. Russia. Or I Russia. think I think that's about to be. I don't know. It's about to shake the world up. I think in a certain way because we've been waiting for this for a long time. No, everyone's been talking about this for how many years? Like ten years, twenty years. So I think that's gonna shake the world up. Everyone's not gonna know how to feel about it. I knew about Bitcoin back in like oh four, oh five. Um, uh, I learned a little bit, but I have some Ethereum, I don't have Bitcoin, but yeah, I know it's, uh, it's going to be the, the goal in the future. It's going to take down the, I don't speak a lot of English, but it's going to take out the, the, fiat, the fiat in the future. So Software engineer with us in the house. What do you know about Bitcoin? Um, well, most of it was used originally to trade drugs, right? So it's, uh, the actual models are really good. So you have um, smart contracts going along with the whole like blockchain model basically you can create trust without institutions all the bitcoin stuff right now though that hasn't really like shot up so i feel like most of it's a scam like you'll see crypto.com they'll be like hey a dollar for you know buy ethereum for a dollar anyone buying ethereum for dollars not gonna make shit on it it's really just these people with massive amounts of money in it trying to inflate the price that's my take but so you don't have any investment in bitcoin no no i do i have small oh. bits but it's most of my portfolio is going to be in the actual stock market. And you don't think people pump and dump that either? All finances is good. I feel exactly. But you have no choice. You have no choice but to participate. So is Bitcoin a complete scam? Is it going to be the end of the world? I don't think so. Is it going to potentially be super great and someday? Maybe. Who am I to say? I'm just some schmuck. You know? <laughs> no, but it's good to have your take because sometimes like but people... I think, I think most of the noise you hear about it right now is kind of a scam. Encouraging. It's like you see all this insane monkey NFT shit all over or like, uh, like the Bored Apes. I worry about like the average person seeing that and thinking, oh, this is gonna be a great investment for me and then losing all out. And then them not really having any recourse because it's pretty much an unregulated security. And so I worry about kind of encouraging the average person to get really invested into this. <laughs> I mean, it's crypto with an I or with a Y? Crypto with an I. No, Y, it's a Y, una Y. All right, it's crypto with a Y or with an I? Yep. Uh, is that a question? Yeah. Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what the difference between Solana and Bitcoin is? No, what's up? Well, Bitcoin's better, first of all. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like the, He's top the king. Of the top. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, everybody's trying to be like Bitcoin. I know it's like Solana's like sand and Bitcoin's like gold. Nice. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That'll be a really good test. I didn't know any countries were using this as tender. That'll be an interesting test. You said it's El Salvador. Been about a year now that they made it there's actually they have a city that is solely run on bitcoin i had no idea yeah and arizona is approving it so hopefully texas and florida would be next but the thing is that 
it not only allows people to trade, but it gets rid of all these layers of like government affiliation, you know? I'm generally pro-government. You are? Yeah, I like having some sort of organization that we all exist within. Because if you don't have government, what do you have? Well, you so what do you invest in? Weed? None. <laughs> okay. Weed's a good investing. In Canada? But what here else? it's legal else? too. No, it's not. In Florida? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, it's legal. All right, how many Bitcoin are there? Where? <laughs> what do you mean where? In the market, bro, in the market. In, in market? circulation. Is it around like... 500 million? <laughs> no, but it's okay. Have a good, have a good yeah. vacation. No. Bitcoin's huge in California. There's a big, uh, big, big blockchain community, you know. You, and what do you know about Bitcoin? What do I know about it? Um, I know it's a very advanced technology. It's based on blockchain. Uh, it's the first cryptocurrency that really gained mainstream adoption. And like you said earlier, it's the king right now. It's the top dog. I don't know. I mean, the whole thing behind Bitcoin mining is the, that it's bad for the environment, right? So I guess in a way, like, it's a good thing that people don't like Bitcoin mining. But if you're, interest, if you're interested in Bitcoin, I feel like your priority might not be the environment. Uh, so. so what do you guys know about Bitcoin? Nathan. <laughs> Nathan? I don't know anything about it. I just know that it's like a lot of money in it, right? All right, what do your friends know? You know, probably the same See, thing. I invest in stock, but I haven't invested in Bitcoin yet. So I have like Apple stock. I have stock in like a couple um, electric cars, but not Bitcoin yet. What happened when it go back down? I lost a few Bitcoins. How many? We ain't gonna talk about that, but okay. Talk what, what about Bitcoin? What's up? Wait, what do you know about Bitcoin? You tell me. What do you mean? Did you just say you crashed? Bitcoin is something to invest into right now. It's a, it's, it's a good platform, but it can't be money that you, you can't afford to lose. I mean, the US dollar lose value every day, so that's exactly. life. Exactly. That's life. Right now, it's 7.5 of inflation. Did you know that? That's the biggest inflation it's ever been in 40 years. It's like we're turning into Venezuela. Do we know why, though? Why? Because minimum wage is going up and everybody has fought for that. Minimum wage, wage. You think that or because Biden is printing out papers like crazy? I just had a coffee for $10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to McDonald's and, and spent $15 on a Happy Meal. So it's definitely a problem. What? $15 on a Happy Meal? Yeah, it's definitely a problem. And I, I bet you the, floor, so it's definitely a problem. I bet you the dollar menu is not worth a dollar anymore. <laughs> What was it, Dollar General or 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 what? Dollar is Tree. Do Dollar Tree. A dollar yeah. twenty-five now, right? Oh shit! Yeah, Venezuela. You can call Venezuela too. Yeah. <laughs> Two point oh. But yes, Bitcoin. If you're looking to invest. Bitcoin is definitely something to invest into. I couldn't argue that. <laughs> Are you guys gonna go to a Bitcoin conference happening right here in Miami, April sixth to the ninth? Let's check. Let's see. Let's yeah. see why not. Of course. You should of go. Course. <laughs> yeah. Would you be more interested to learn more about Bitcoin? Yeah, of course. There's a Bitcoin conference happening right here in Miami, April 6th to the 9th, where you can learn about Bitcoin. Okay. You know who's going to be there? Who? The president of El Salvador, Bukele. You're going to get Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank. Like, huge A-list celebrities, the biggest networking event. You're going to be there? Yeah, Let's good. do it! Yeah. yeah! Look up Bitcoin conference. It's going to be conference. here in Miami, April 6th to the 9th, and it's going to be full of guys for you guys to like maybe hit on Ooh. Maybe, hit on, okay. maybe they'll invest in my bitcoin right, maybe Ooh. invest in my bank account maybe cash at me right now i will maybe you gotta invite all your friends and that is a wrap some people still don't know that bitcoin was created in 2008 some think that it was created in 2004 which that's kind of hard to do but there you have it we're still early and you can still go to the Bitcoin conference, April 6th to 9th, 2022. Be there or be broke.